<laughs> this is Mike Duvall. We're here at the Energy Digital Conference the Summit. Uh, the day is January 22nd. I'm representing the Art Institute, and uh, we're here with one of the, uh, what's your name, sir? Greg Bright. Greg Bright, and who are you with? I'm with Ocean Fab, and I also teach an internet marketing class at UT Austin as an adjunct professor. So why are you here today at the summit? Well, I was at last year's summit, and I, I really got passionate about the opportunity that the oil and gas crowd has for internet marketing. It's like they're kind of late bloomers to this whole internet uh, marketing party, so to speak, and I'm finding it in my own metal fabrication business much easier to win in this space mm -hmm. than other industries because of that. Those, those that are proactive in doing something about getting high ranking on the search engines, uh, social media, those that are active in that space are able to win in oil and gas because most of their competitors aren't doing it. Well, I've been in the oil and gas industry about 25 years. I was actually a trader for Texaco. Oh, wow. And uh, I was very interested when I came here to find out that they're trying to penetrate the oil and gas industry by using social media and other things like that. Professional LinkedIn is one that all the professionals is on. And But I wanted to see how it's going to integrate Facebook and, and, other, and Twitter and other aspects of it, the oil and gas industry. Do you see that being positive? Absolutely, because uh, my my forte is SEO, search engine optimization, and that's all about getting high ranking in the search engines. And Google watches what we're doing on Facebook and Twitter. I mean, they're connecting the dots. So uh, somebody that's not active in those other spaces, we call it off-page SEO, they're not going to get very high ranking no matter what they do on their website, which is called on-page SEO. So uh, things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google's watching all those interactions and taking note and and they are kind of giving you value and higher ranking for those activities. So in your subsidy business are you using these formats to, to promote your business? Absolutely and I'm, I'm here to tell you it's much easier to win in this space in oil and gas. So you're seeing some actual results? 80, 90 percent of my new business is coming from oil and gas and here's the deal we heard last year mm -hmm. that half of the oil and gas marketing uh, employees will be retiring in the next five years. So what does that tell you about the young folks coming up who don't remember life before Google? These young buyers, they just Google it. The older buyers are even changing their habits. Forrester did a survey last year and it showed that in the next three years, the the number of buyers that will purchase the majority of their purchases online will increase by 86%. So the older buyers are also coming on board. Well, I was a natural gas trader when, when we started back in the day calling customers on the telephone, right? and trying to close a deal selling That's natural gas and all. But now it's, it's electronic. We all do it on IM or do it on Yahoo. You can cast a bigger net. And, right. and I kind of, I do that, cast a bigger net, and then pre-qualify the customers before I go out and have that face-to-face -face or phone call interaction. So uh, and information on them and you know about Exactly. Them. So I qualify. Yeah. I qualify. And that's what these younger buyers want. They, they'd rather almost email or uh, communicate through digital means than a face to face. It's kind of interesting and I've seen a change in the last 12 to 18 months, a, a, a switch in that where we're getting more and more business online. So Brand Elixir is the founding uh, sponsor of this, this oh, okay. organization. Uh, another of this digital summit, right? And I, I think they're onto something. Yes, yeah. We're we're all here to grow our business and and share our knowledge. That's why I teach a class at UT Austin uh, to just to share my knowledge and help other small business owners with some of these techniques. And and the opportunity is with anybody and any presentation I do, most of the people don't act on what we talk about. So that's an opportunity for those that do. That's what that's what excites me. I'm seeing it every day. That's awesome. So did you would have spent your time and, and uh, actually teach and, and, and try to help students as they want to get in business and Absolutely. teach them like on the road yeah, to get customers. Like giving back. Give yeah, back. yeah, and I and I love it. If I, if I won the lottery tomorrow, that's what I'd do is teach and write more books. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. Mike Duvall here reporting at the Energy Digital Conference, Art Institute. Thank you.